Action News continues right now. Now, you're watching Action News at 6. Only on Action News at 6, for the first time, you'll see what really happened during a shooting which ended with the death of a 16-year-old robber. Good evening, I'm David Whitney. And I'm Denise Tafala. Only Action News has the security camera videotape showing a crime that sparked debate about self-defense. Ed Gallick with the exclusive live from Cleveland's east side. Well, the city just released this tape to Action News. Now, if you have children watching, you may want to take them to another room for a moment. You may remember that earlier, a prosecutor ruled a clerk here was justified in shooting and killing a 16-year-old robber. Well, now you'll see why. Security cameras are rolling. May 14th, the kid with a light-colored shirt waiting by the counter, Alfonso Means, 16 years old. You see him approach the counter, and seconds later, he pulls out a gun. Other customers are standing right next to him. He waves the gun toward them, too. They run for cover. Now watch the clerk. Looks like he's handing over the money. Then he pulls out his gun, surprising the robber, shooting him twice. The teen staggers outside. And remember those other customers? You see them crawling around in the back of the store. Now you've watched the evidence that helped prosecutors decide the clerk had no choice. A clear case of self-defense. Parents said, earlier the teen's parents said that they felt this clerk did not need to shoot the boy twice. However, inside the store, they say if somebody's threatening your life, you have no choice but to do what you have to do. And the prosecutor looked at this tape and agreed. Live on the east side, Ed Gallick, Action News. Thanks, Ed. Downtown Cleveland, a daycare worker walks instead of getting jail time, and the emotions run high. This was the reaction last week in a Cleveland courtroom when Lisa DeMichelle was sentenced. She got six months house arrest and five years probation for abusing children in her care. And this was the scene outside the Justice Center today. Some yelling and carrying on by folks with a message. They claim if the mothers had stayed at home with their children, the abuse would not have happened in the first place. These parents want tougher laws, mandatory jail time for anyone convicted of abusing a child. New information and a new jail cell tonight for former Congressman Jim Traffigant. Tonight, he is headed to the slammer for the next eight years. Trafficking seen here last week on his sentencing day has been moved from the Summit County Jail to a federal prison. Where? That's being kept a secret until he arrives. The 61-year-old asked to serve his time in an Ohio prison so he could run for Congress again from prison. Trafficking plans to appear on the November ballot as an independent in Mahoning County. The first afternoon rush hour of the week and thousands held captive on a Cleveland highway. You're looking at pictures just taken from the Action News chopper on I-90 westbound at the 71 split. That dump truck and a green minivan collided. The dump truck went over. Traffic is slow going through that particular squeeze. And in Lorraine, four people are sent to the hospital after another minivan and a semi collide. Action News, the Action News chopper all over town tonight, this time over Baumhart Road near the Ford plant. No word on what caused that collision. Right now, new developments to report in the chase standoff and shooting involving a former Columbus police officer. Hermando Harton, the center of that tense showdown on I-71 on Friday, is still alive, but in critical but stable condition. Tonight, word that Franklin County will handle all the charges that will eventually be filed against him. This is the surveillance tape from the Duke Truck Plaza showing Harton brandishing a Smith & Wesson 9mm in one hand and a 45 semi-automatic in the other. Harton was shot after a four-hour standoff when he ran off into the woods. Police say he killed his wife outside Columbus with his two children and headed north with the two kids, uh, stealing a marked sheriff's FUV after firing at Morrow County deputies. At the truck stop, the manager called 911. Then Harton took the phone. I apologize to my family. I apologize to the Columbus Police Department. I apologize to my mother and the rest of my family. Please say a prayer for me and my family. Harton was shot three times by state police. The two officers involved are on administrative leave. No charges yet, but when they come, it will be in Franklin County. Police say 27-year-old Elizabeth Harton was shot in the head and stabbed a number of times. The coroner ruled it was the shot that killed her. In Solon, a day on the job for a local police officer takes a wicked turn for the worse. Action News has learned the officer was hit by a car at Cannon and Somme Center Roads. The cruiser rolled a few times before coming to a stop. 
The police officer was rushed to the hospital to be checked out, but we're told he is doing okay tonight. The cause of the crash, a power outage. A traffic light at the intersection was out at the time of the collision. In Akron, more than 3,000 people left in the dark overnight after a slew of thunderstorms and bands of lightning pummeled the area. Action News followed the storm across Northeast Ohio. At last check, just minutes ago, we're told all power is back up and running. No major damage, but what a sight in Westfield Township. A bolt of lightning split this tree in two, sparking a fire. There are scattered thunderstorms in our forecast this work week. And just ahead, Bruce will have your complete forecast, an exclusive seven-day outlook where the weekend is always in view. In Metter, police are keeping a close lookout for a wanted man. Here's the man they say tried to kidnap a 14-year-old girl. He is believed to be in his 40s. He stands about 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighs close to 200 pounds, and he has light brown or blonde hair. This is where police say the man tried to lure the teen into his car, Lakeshore Boulevard at the Route 306 area in Mentor. Luckily, the girl got to a payphone and called for help. If you recognize this man, please call Mentor Police before he strikes again. In Lorain County now, folks here are on high alert tonight after a five-year-old child is nearly snatched from her front yard. Don Kendrick brings us the very latest on the search for the man, in this case now live from the Action Newsroom. Don? Lisa Gonzalez was playing here on the front porch like she does most days when a man pulled up in a red car and told her to get in here at the corner of West 20th and Washington in Lorraine. He said get in the car and I shook my head no and I... I try to scream as loud as I can. And Issa came running out of the back and she told me, she goes, some man tried to take me. And I just stood there, I was in shock. I was like, what? I started crying, I, I didn't know what to do. I just, all I can do is hold her. And you never think it could happen to you until it does. Aliza's mother's concern quickly turned into frustration when she realized it took the police here in Lorraine half an hour to get here. I, I feel they should have been here immediately after because of you know all the kidnappings that have been going on. It might take a kid to be kidnapped before they find him, you know? It's, I hate to say that, but that's probably how it's gonna happen. It didn't happen this time because Eliza practiced what her mother had preached. Because my mom said that I have a scream when somebody tries to take me. I'm very proud of her. <laughs> extremely proud of her. But now parents are panicked in this neighborhood that's packed with kids. When I look out my window and it's right in front of me, I just start thinking that we live in a, a world that is not safe no longer. Keep an eye on your kids. Don't let them out of your sight because it can happen to you. Now, this is the composite sketch just released by police of the man Aliza and her mother described to police. He is a white male in his late 20s with short blonde hair and a mustache. He was driving an older two-door candy apple red car with a possible spoiler on the rear. A detective was just assigned to this case this morning, two days after Aliza's mother reported it to police. I'm Don Kendrick from the newsroom, Action News. Thanks, Don. Danger of a different kind in Independence now, where a man slipped and fell 12 feet. It happened first thing today at Tricker's Nursery. We're told the man was ripping up some concrete when he stepped on some unstable ground and it gave way. Authorities secured the area so no one else would be swallowed up. He's a little shaken up, but we're told the man is going to be all right. Well, off the shores of Marblehead now, the search for a missing boater is suspended. David Rush of Lorraine was last seen Saturday. He left from Lorraine, but his sailboat was discovered empty between Marblehead and Kelly's Island. Coast Guard units canvassed the three-mile stretch along Lake Erie for two days, but came up with nothing. A seat cushion was discovered, however, near the Huron River. The cushion is identical to two others on Rush's boat. If you think we've had a lot of drowning deaths around here on the North Coast, you are right. The numbers are definitely on the rise. Take a look. So far in the past month alone, there have been 14 drownings, 11 of them in lakes or rivers, three others in swimming pools. The latest fatality in Lake County. You're looking at pictures from the Action News Chopper up and over Redbird Beach, about 40 miles northeast of Cleveland. The 41-year-old Ashtabula man reportedly jumped into the water off an unlit pier overnight. Wendy Gillette joins us now live from the lakefront with more on this deadly trend. Wendy. David, it does seem like every few days we're telling you about a new drowning, whether it's a drowning here in Lake Erie or somewhere else. Today we spoke to a local fire chief about why this may be happening and what you can do to prevent a tragedy in your family. 
A drowning over the weekend at a pool in the Strongsville Recreation Center. Another child taken by the Black River in Elyria just last week. And four lives lost in Lake Erie at Nickel Play Beach last month. It seems that Northeast Ohio's lakes, rivers, and pools are claiming more lives this year than ever before. Elyria Fire Chief John Zielinski. With all the heat that we've been having in the area over the summer, and a lot of people aren't traveling. Uh, they have a tendency to gravitate to the water wherever it happens to be. And sometimes that water turns treacherous. A memorial of flowers and teddy bears marks the top of this path leading to the Black River, where a nine-year-old boy drowned. It's hard enough just to reach this section of the river. It's against the law to swim, raft, or boat on any of the 12 miles of river in the city. Neighbor Nathan Patfield says that doesn't keep kids away. When it's hot outside and humid, the kids will come down here, walk down on, on a little thing, throw rocks in the water, uh, try to go swimming. When you look at the river, it seems calm. <laughs> but looks can be deceiving. It's deep in spots and filled with dangerous debris. Most of the time, people will look at the river or any body of water and they'll underestimate the dangers that are laying there and they'll overestimate their ability to handle it. Now, there is no agency that tracks drowning statewide, so there's no way to do a scientific comparison from year to year. It's just very important to remember what that fire chief says. Never underestimate the water. Never overestimate your abilities. Reporting live from Lake Erie, Wendy Gillette, Action News. Good advice. Thanks, Wendy. The dead zone beneath the waters of Lake Erie is getting some high-profile attention. What I'm concerned about is that there's a new phenomenon. It's called dead zones. It's in the central basin. Senator George Voinovich called on scientists today to help explain an area of Lake Erie with no oxygen, the same place where fish are turning up belly up. The Coast Guard is stepping in, and with the help of their guardian boat, they will be testing the air, water, and the mud on Lake Erie. Researchers on the project are part of a $2 million effort to study the puzzling changes in our lake. Well, there's no mystery about what's happening in Berea tonight. And it's no mystery that we're missing all of the fun. Uh-oh. Now, Cody Corndog Dove is live <laughs> yeah. where all the fun and games are going on, the Cuyahoga County Fair in Berea. What say you? Yes, that is my official carnival name, Cody Corndog Dove, reporting live from the Cuyahoga County Fair. All kinds of great animals and exhibits, over 5,000 this year for the 106th annual Cuyahoga County Fair. This is Jungle Bob. One of the great live What's entertainment. What's happening there, Corn Fred Cody? Oh, man. <laughs> How now, you doing out there at Channel 19? Now, you hey. have a, an animal show, well, I think. this is it. Monty Python, and he's part of Jungle Bob's animal show with Safari Sue at the gazebo up there. Now, All week long, we'll be here at the Cuyahoga County Fair. Excellent. I'm very comfortable right now. Uh, now, snakes have gotten a bad rap with Latoya Jackson and everything. How, sure do you, how do you get someone to approach a snake? Well, all you got to do is just throw one on them like I did to you, and hey, they got no choice, do they? Yes. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. Hey, do you know great. the snakes actually locate their mate with their tongues? Oh, okay. Too much information. We're going to take a spin on the Kissel Brothers Railroad here. Make sure you come out. It's through Sunday. It's the Cuyahoga County Fair. For Action News, I'm Cody Dove. You know, when a snake is wrapped around your neck, it's your best friend just That's then. That's right. It's not something you see every day on the rugby field. Folks wearing nothing but smiles and a logo in our next segment, oh. an unbelievably cheeky public relations oh. stunt. Stop it. Then at 616, it's no stunt, but an amazing rescue from the sea after a Navy officer falls 15 feet on a ship. And you've seen the ads on television. Body Check 19 is dedicated to finding breast cancer early. For a free packet of information, call 1-800-786-1382. Action News is sponsored by your Lincoln Mercury dealer. Donut. Yeah. Espresso. The 2002 Lincoln LS. With 0% financing for 60 months or a $3.99 a month lease with $19.39 cash to its signing. There are those who travel and those who travel well. Looking for service and quality? For nearly 25 years, Don Bash at Don Bash Jewelers has been committed to providing friendly service and quality workmanship. Don Bash utilizes the newest technologies to assist his customers in purchasing, repairing, or restoring that treasured piece of jewelry. 
Don Bash and his family would love to be your family jeweler. I wouldn't shop anywhere else. Don Bash Jewelers, conveniently located in Macedonia Commons. The best kept secret in town. Hi, this is my house. I call it the Calhoun House of Cheddar. This is my wall of cheese. Oh, they're in Wisconsin. Their cheddar is very underrated. If you love cheddar, nothing's more delicious than Wendy's Cheddar Lovers Bacon Cheeseburger. This is my first cheesehead hat that I got from my dad when I... Bacon, sauteed onions, and tons of cheddar. Oh, they're the little cheddars. Try Wendy's Cheddar Lovers Bacon Cheeseburger. It's better here. Don't be late for dinner. We're having cheese. <laughs> and now Wendy's pickup windows open late so you can eat great even late. At American Dental Centers, we've had many satisfied patients. We'd like you to meet one. I've always been afraid of the dentist until I came to American Dental. The staff here made me feel comfortable right away. They're like my second family. Teeth used to be really crooked, now they're nice and straight, all thanks to American Dental. Wouldn't you like to be this excited about seeing your dentist? Call us today at 1-888-SMILE-20. Can Jerry help Kramer kick his sleep disorder? Now, you're a heavy sleeper, right? Why don't we just switch apartments? Or I could sleep in the park. <laughs> They've switched more than apartments. You look a little stressed. Oh, I'm stressed. <laughs> Tonight at 7 on Cleveland CBS 19. Welcome back to Action News at 6 and Action News Extra this Monday night. You've seen it on TV. The fabulous, fluffy pancake pro. Perfect every time. Only question, does it work? This week, we're testing all kinds of products that make big promises. Today, Action News Extra, we put the Pancake Pro to the test with professional chefs right here in Chesterland. Loretta Paganini is one tough cookie when it comes to cooking, which is why we chose her cooking school to test the Pancake Pro. I'll open it. You can read the directions. Already, our team had a problem. One box contained no directions, and it turns out they're essential. Always preheat pancake pro on both sides in the closed position for three minutes before cooking. Our chefs had to guess if that meant three minutes altogether or on each side. Then they had to use cooking spray, something they don't tell you on the box. But our chefs plowed ahead. At first, the results looked good. Oh, look at how nice and light. But the flip side wasn't so hot. Well, actually, it was too oh, hot. Yeah, they're burned. And that was just one of the problems with the Pancake Pro. The metal of the pan is so thin, our first batch of pancakes either oh, burned or didn't cook through. <laughs> Let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Loretta and the gang had better luck on the second batch, but had trouble flipping the pan without spilling batter. Anticipation. We also found that pancakes took just as long to cook on the Pancake Pro as they do on a regular skillet. And you can only make one at a time unless you buy several Pancake Pros. It will take you two or three hours to serve dinner. I don't know if the children will wait that long. Our jury's verdict on the Pancake Pro? All right, our vote is down. We get sued by They weren't too crazy about it. Well, that's the trouble with waffles. You can only do one at a time. Yeah. It's slow yeah, on a Sunday those, morning with kids know. saying, Dad! I know, hurry up, make him fast. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, there was a bit more action on the rugby field than expected during a recent match in Australia. That tops tonight's action newsreel. You know what's coming. Streakers ran onto the field oh, wearing nothing but smiles. Hey, somebody gets this guy a Speedo, a pair of Bermudas, a bathrobe, something. All he's got on is a smile and a logo for a British mobile phone company. The stunt stopped the Tri-Nations match just before a New Zealand player was preparing to take a crucial penalty kick. He muffed it. Australia won 16-14. That's a high-scoring soccer match, isn't it? Police are investigating the cell phone company's connection to the stunt. Ouch. A gruesome discovery for zookeepers in South Bend, Indiana. Wild dogs bit and clawed their way into a wallaby exhibit. After the bloody rampage, 13 animals were dead. It'll cost the zoo thousands of dollars, and it'll close one of the most popular animal attractions there. Wow. Mm. What a shame. Yeah. Well, we had some wicked storms in this area. How'd we do in the yeah. rainfall department? Yeah. Some folks did. Other folks, nothing. I mean, I know you my could house. See and hear it for yeah, miles. you could see it. You could hear it, but nothing out there. Uh, yeah. My son was out at Ozfest yesterday. Yours oh. too. Huh? Not, they were, yeah, he was there. <laughs> There's no problems out there weather-wise. So I mean, other than it being hot, and today, no sort of the same thing. You know, yeah. Uh, there were some storms around Akron, Canton. Storms Storms around Youngstown and Columbus, but very little around the greater Cleveland area. We're looking at Dominion Dual Doppler XL. Now we're on the live scan, and everything in and around the greater Cleveland area is fairly quiet. Now we could run into a stray shower yet this evening, 
but not uh, all that likely. You can see south of Youngstown uh, on the turnpike, you see a few isolated sh dying showers here. Really, most of the action right now is through the Pittsburgh area and down towards uh, Uniontown and uh, Laurel Highlands. That's where all the heavy thunderstorms are. They're moved through uh, along and ahead of the front. Northeastern Ohio is fairly quiet, so if you've got plans tonight for the Arrows game, the Hall of Fame football game in Canton, it's looking pretty good or just playing a little league practice. Should be in good shape for tonight. Here's a look at the mini dual Doppler number two that expands the view with our cold front right around through here. All the sticky air is ahead of it, so that's what's giving rise to these thunderstorms. They've already had a daily high, te uh, high in precipitation accumulation in uh, Columbus with 63 hundredths of an inch of uh, rain so far, and they still have yet uh, some storms to go. We look at the close-up view of the radar and down over the southern half of the state. There is a uh, severe thunderstorm watch in effect. We never were under a watch here in northeastern Ohio as uh, the storms develop generally off to our south ahead of the front, and we're now starting to get high pressure, mild air, and oh, you're going to love the weather for the next few days. I know you like warm weather, but this is going to be just terrific. Starting tonight, it will be clearing. It'll be somewhat breezy, cooler and drier. Low dropping to 62. The ACs can get turned off. Open up those windows. And then Tuesday, more high pressure, more sunshine. The only negative for those of you who like to spend some time out on the lake is the winds are going to be whipping up there pretty good. You can see on Precision Cast, nothing but wall-to-wall -wall sunshine through the day tomorrow and into the evening. Tribe coming back into town. It's looking mighty nice as well. So we'll have a windy, cooler day tomorrow under partly cloudy skies, 73 degrees. Small craft advisory in effect for northeast winds, 15 to 25 knots. Tomorrow, waves running 4 to 6 feet. And as we look ahead towards Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, more high pressure, more wonderful weather, and the Action News 7-day forecast where the weekend is always in view. Just shows a terrific week for the fair and any outdoor activities, mid to upper 70s, gradually warming up towards the weekend. All righty. Right. Thanks, Thank Bruce. You. Well, some old and some familiar faces here in Northeast Ohio tonight. Former Browns coach Chris Palmer makes a visit to his old stomping grounds. Find out why he's in town. Then at 627, it was a good time to tee off for a good cause. And hey, Denise was out at the links on Tanglewood today. See why when we come back. Tonight on Action News, four dead and dozens more sick. So what's the best way to fight the West Nile virus? Now, see how one man is resorting to an innovative idea to protect you from the deadly virus. And you leave your home for the day and return to find this. Could this scene happen to your home? Find out why this is happening to more and more homes. And Canton's time to shine. See how an entire community scores big in the national spotlight. That's all tonight at 11, only on Action News. This is the factory. Here's where the best-built vinyl replacement windows are made, our new generation windows. And the only place you can buy them is at the window factory. You can spend more or you can spend less, but you simply can't get a better quality window at a lower price. I guarantee it. So before you buy replacement windows, call the window factory. And remember, you can't get a better quality window at a lower price. You know what? What? You got it. Well, it's in your eyes. Ain't no surprise. You got a thing <laughs> for Riley. Check it out. You got to eat. Ain't nothing like this place. You got to eat. Ain't nothing like this taste. You got to eat. You got to have a Riley's double decker. Nothing else will do. It's two huge patties with all the toppings, and now it's just 99 cents. Ain't no taste like it. Double decker, now just 99 cents at Riley's. You got to eat. family or were there from the beginning this is the year to watch don't miss the most highly anticipated premiere of the season the sopranos only on hbo and on cinemax catch exclusive movie premieres and the most movies on premium tv this fall the biggest premieres are on hbo and cinemax plus when you order digital cable you'll get multiple channels of hbo and cinemax crystal clear picture and cd quality sound and a convenient interactive on-screen guide to make finding your favorite shows easier than ever. Digital cable with HBO and Cinemax, the best way to watch TV. Subscribe to digital cable and get multiple screens of HBO and Cinemax at a great savings for six months. Don't miss out. Call 1-800-420-3000 or your local cable provider to order now.
Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Action News at 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Browns spent the offseason trying to improve the offense for a push towards the playoffs. The early, and we stress early, returns have not been great. But Tim Couch is not worried. The first team O did not do much against the Bills in Saturday's scrimmage. But William Green did not play, and the play calling was vanilla and planned that way. Still, everyone is waiting to see the steps of improvement. Couch knows that and believes the improvement will come soon. It's so early right now. We're just trying to, you know, kind of figure out what we are as an offense, what we can do really good, and just doing a lot of different things, you know. And it's uh, just one of those things where we're, we're just in the early stages of what we got right now, trying to figure out where to use, utilize all our talent. Green, the first-round pick, is battling a sore shoulder. He was on the practice field today but did not participate in any contact drills. Browns obviously aren't taking any chances with William Green. Chris Palmer, the former Browns head coach, is back in town as the offensive coordinator with the Houston Texans. Houston plays the Giants tonight in the Hall of Fame game at Fawcett. Palmer was fired after going 5-27 and 27 in two years. It was a tough two years, but Palmer still had some fun here. You know, the, the fans were so great, and you wanted to get it going as quickly as you can but uh, as you look at it it takes time and there's no way around it no one in this league has uh, found the formula to do it overnight and uh, you know it's just uh, it, my days in Cleveland uh, were, were great and as far as early preseason games go the Hall of Fame game is a huge cut above the rest Canton in the Hall put on a first class weekend celebrating NFL football from the Hall inductions to the game it's special for the players to be involved and for this to be a special season for the Browns William Green has to get healthy and the offense has to get going but let's, let's hope. hope we got a lot of time the sky's Alrighty. not falling yet Thanks, no Brian. not even a piece of it thanks a lot hey golfers were hitting the links today all for a good cause and who was there yeah, I was out there coming up in our next segment a hole in one for medical research find out why these folks were swinging into action action news weather is sponsored by Dominion East Ohio it all starts here Billions of calls travel through SBC's telecommunication networks. Some are for us. From people looking for us to solve a problem. Fast. In our Ameritech region, we monitor our networks 24-7. So a lot of times, we can spot a problem and fix it before anyone even notices. The customer. That's who we answer to. Infinite Trust. SBC. The time to save is now. It's the Ford Authorized Clearance at your local Ford store. Now is your chance to get 0% financing for up to 60 months or up to $3,500 cash back. That's right. The deals you've waited for all year. Zero financing or up to $3,500 cash back. But you can't wait. To get this special 0% financing for up to 60 months or up to $3,500 cash back, get to the Ford Authorized Clearance now. Only at your local Ford store. Ford's Diamonds. The Jewelry Factory is a direct diamond importer. The Jewelry Factory has thousands of diamonds, most with GIA or EGL certs, laser inscribed and guaranteed the lowest price. One carat solitaires are $5.99. One carat studs, $3.99. The Jewelry Factory has thousands of rings, pendants, earrings, and bracelets, and specializes in platinum and invisible settings. Only the Jewelry Factory gives you a low price and double value guarantee. Buy Factory Direct. The Jewelry Factory in North Randall. After 26 years of marriage, Tom and I realized that we're a little different from each other. We do everything together, but each in our own way. Except for one thing. For aspirin therapy, our doctor says we should both take the same dose. A single 81 milligram St. Joseph aspirin. The dosage most doctors recommend for aspirin therapy. After all, taking more aspirin than you may need just isn't a good idea. For anybody, St. Joseph aspirin. Trust it with all your heart. Parents of a three-week-old baby who died of SIDS are on a mission to save other kids. They're raising more than $15,000 for the Ohio SIDS Network at this golf outing at Tanglewood today. I was invited to take part in the event named after little Justin Prestige. 3,400 babies die in the U.S. every year from SIDS, and today's fundraiser will help pay for medical research. Thanks to them for inviting me, and everyone had a good time. Good time, good cause. Yep. Way to go. And thanks for joining us at 6. The CBS Evening News is next. Be sure to join Jack Marshall and Shannon Reed, or Sharon Reed for Action News at 10 on 43 The Block. We hope to see you tonight at 11. Good night. Action News is sponsored by Medic Drug and start saving today.